Hello friends, welcome to Java Programming Video Tutorials series. From this video tutorial onwards, we are going to learn each and every concept of Java programming language with a lot of example programs using NetBeans IDE. To understand Java programming language, we take help of NetBeans IDE. I have already installed NetBeans, a complete package in my computer system. I suggest you people to install NetBeans in your computer system so that you can follow up from here onwards with me. Once you install NetBeans IDE, you find a shortcut at the desktop. To launch the NetBeans IDE, double click on the shortcut available on the desktop. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. NetBeans is a development environment for Java applications. You can see that the NetBeans IDE got launched. This is the user interface of NetBeans IDE. NetBeans is an integrated development environment. It is integrated with different software tools like it has editor, profiler, debugger. If you have installed NetBeans a complete package, you get editor, compiler, profiler, debugger and many other essential tools required to develop variety of Java applications. Using the editor, we can easily edit Java programs. Using the compiler and interpreter, we can compile, interpret, build and run our Java applications. Using the debugger, we can debug our programs easily. Using the profiler, we can profile our project. We can look for CPU utilization, memory utilization, etc. And also it provides a lot of facilities. We see them as and when we need in upcoming video tutorials. You need not to depend on NetBeans IDE to understand what I am teaching in this video tutorial series. You can use any of your favorite IDE like Eclipse, Notepad++, etc. The way of creating projects, creating new files will be different in different IDEs. The way of importing, exporting files will be different in different IDEs. But the Java programming language will be same everywhere. In this video tutorial series, I focus on Java programming language plus the features of NetBeans IDE. The overall objective of this video tutorial series is to make you understand Java programming language concepts clear. In this video tutorial, I would like to give you brief introduction to NetBeans IDE user interface. Let's discuss. At the top, we have title bar. Below the title bar, we find menu bar. Below the menu bar, we find toolbar. On the left hand side, we have projects window, file window, services window. In the middle, start page is open. At the bottom, we have output window. We discuss each of these components of the NetBeans user interface. First, I discuss title bar. In the title bar, we have NetBeans IDE 8.2. It is telling that I have installed 8.2 version of the NetBeans IDE. On the left hand side, we have NetBeans logo or icon. If I click on it, we get the context menu. Using this context menu, we can minimize the window. I open it again. I click on the logo. We can restore the window. In the restore mode, we can resize the window. We can move the window. I click on the logo. If I click on maximize, the window gets maximized. We cannot resize the window in the maximize mode. It takes the entire width and height. We can move and it comes to the restore mode. I click on logo, click on maximize. And also we can close the window or ID by clicking on the logo, click on the close or you can take help of the shortcut Alt F4. If I click on close, you can see that the window or the IDE got closed. To relaunch the NetBeans IDE, I double click on the shortcut available on the desktop. You can see that the IDE got launched. On the right hand side, we have minimize button. If I click on it, the window gets minimized. I open it again. If I click on restore button, you can see that the window got restored. In the restore mode, we can resize the window according to our requirement. If I click on maximize button, the window gets maximized. If I click on close button, the window gets closed. To relaunch the NetBeans ID, 
I double click on the shortcut available on the desktop. You can see that the IDE got launched. I hope you guys have clearly understood the title bar. In the title bar, we have NetBeans IDE 8.2 version. It is showing and the left hand side we have the logo with the context menu. On the right hand side we have minimize, restore, maximize and close buttons. Below the title bar, we have menu bar. In the menu bar, we find different menus, file menu, edit, weave, navigate, source, refactor, run, debug, profile, team, tools, window and help menu. Below the menu bar, we have toolbar. In this toolbar, we have different tools for creating a new file, creating a new project, open a project, save all, undo, redo, run the project. If you want, you can add more tools by right clicking and selecting the tools that you want. Maybe you want the tools related to debugging. If you click on it, you get the tools related to debugging. I right click and hide the debugging tools. On the left hand side, we have here projects window, files window, services window. Using the project window, we manage our projects. And on the right hand side here, we have in the middle, start page open. In the start page, you find the things related to NetBeans help. And uh, for example, you see here, learn and discover button. You have uh, install plugins option. It allows you to install new plugins. It allows you to learn and discover new things of NetBeans. And also here, it lists the recent projects. At present, we have not created any project. We have not worked with any project. So it is showing no recent project. And here it is having a checkbox for show on startup. If you uncheck, you don't find this start page when you start the NetBeans. I just check it because I want it always show on startup. We can close these windows by clicking on the close button. If I click on close, you can see that the window output window got closed. I can close the start page. I can close the projects window. I can close the files window. I can close the services window. All are hidden. We can make them visible back by going to window, click on projects or you can use the shortcut control one. If I click on it, you can see that the projects window is visible. I go to window, click on files or I can take help of control two shortcut if i click on files you can see that the files window is visible i go to window click on services you can see that the services window is visible now it is having the shortcut control 5 all the windows are tab grouped properly you can see that we can switch from one to another just by clicking on the window name go to window click on output the shortcut is control 4 if i click on output you can see that the output window is visible. This is a place where we find the output of our Java programs. And uh, we don't find the start page in the window menu. If I go to help, here we have start page. If I click on it, the start page is visible now. So this is the brief introduction to NetBeans IDE user interface. And at the bottom we have the status bar. I hope you guys have clearly understood the NetBeans IDE user interface. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we get more information on Java programming language and NetBeans IDE. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.